Hello and welcome back. My name is Sebastian and I want to show you today subqueries in the WHERE or in the SELECT clause. So you can use them especially in the WHERE clause when you don't want to do any joins and we want to combine a little bit different tables and in the SELECT clause you can use the subqueries to give back for a certain column any certain amount. So let's just do it. First I have here a simple SQL query. So we select everything from our sales table. We run it and you see here sale ID, transaction, brand and amounts. And now we do a subquery in the WHERE clause. So for instance WHERE and we know that we have also our brand table. Yeah, so why not we use brand ID and then we open or we say in and we say select brand ID from we uh, have a little bit more from brands where country equal to USA. So what it sh should look like is, let's do this here a little bit like this, we select everything in our sales table, but this time we want to see just the brand IDs where the country is USA. Usually we don't have this information here, this is actually in the brands table, and we could make a join now, but no, we do it in the filtering. And let's run this. And there we have it. So we have now just the uh, transactions where uh, any brand ID is in the country of the USA. Okay, so this is sometimes useful when you, yeah, don't make it overboard and with any joints or something else. This is when you use it in the WHERE clause. So WHERE, then you want to select any <clears throat> kind of um, data which you want to have in the original table and then you can use it here with the IN statement or you can use it also with a EQUAL when you are searching in the SELECT statement and just for one value. Uh, this is also possible. So you can do whatever you want here. Important is that you open the parentheses and close the parentheses, then in your subquery. Okay, good. Now, let's take this a little bit back and we want to go to the select or subquery select. Okay, hmm, let's see. We do now, for instance, brands. So we select everything in our brands table. Let's do this here. Okay. So brand ID, brand name, country. I think we will limit this now to three that we have here a better overview when we are making the code. And now with the select or with the subquery in the select statement, we can add here an additional column which has a certain value. Good, what could it be? Usually we take something from sales, so we can say, open parentheses, select some amount from sales, and then close the parentheses, S, and then we give it a name, our new column. As summary. Okay, let's run this and there we have it. So we combined even now also two tables together, give you uh, an additional column with a new value which comes out of the summary, out of the sales table. So could be also doing this with max or something else. Okay, I hope this was helpful and um, I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe the video and 
see you in some of the next videos. Enjoy.